Here we are back with Scoot. He's going to make his second vehicle. He's going to make something like a classic roadster. And here's all our pieces. A lot of this is coming from uh, one of the orc planes. I forget what they're called. But a lot of pieces like these wing pieces and these little vent pieces. Um, some of the other stuff is from our poor armager. Uh, from extra weapons from a knight titan our plague burst crawler as well as a few pieces from a model car kit we're basically going to start from the front work our way to the back uh not necessarily because that's best but because i've worked out the spacing of these parts on the engine the engine on the base this is all my interior parts, so we can fit that stuff behind the engine, but I want to make sure I know where the engine actually is. So we're going to work front, then the inside, which is the middle, and then the back fitting around the middle, and then we're going to do the sides sort of fitting around everything. So that's the plan. We'll get started. So this is my front grill piece. I'm going to take this and I'm going to do my best. They're about the same height, I guess you would call it. Right from bottom to top, they're just about the same. But I want to make this fit into that shape. So we're going to cut off these corners, round up, and then cut that corner off. And hopefully it'll fit. cut myself plenty of times trying to chop through stuff because the blade can move surprisingly quick once it's find a gap. So if you create a gap by scoring it, you at least know where it's going to go and it can expect it to go a fairly consistent speed because you created where it's going to go rather than hoping it goes where you want it to go. So we have our engine. <clears throat> the way this actually sits, this engine sits best. It normally would go this way. It's going to sit best backwards, um, which is fine. I just have to do a little bit of trimming there so it kind of fits. There's a ridge right here. We kind of hook right into that ridge. And then this is going to go over it. And there's a ridge right there that kind of sits right at the front of the engine. And then we're going to have our scoop right up top fit just like that, which that fits pretty much perfectly on this part. Before we do all of that, I want to get rid of this box because this, I want to sit flat against that. And that's the most cutting. So we're going to do that first. That should let us, I guess we got to go get that, that part off. What I'm trying to do is there's a ridge right there. I want to hook it into that part. And I want to hook it in there so that I can glue 
lines running back flat against this, which I think I have to cut some of this angle out, which is not easy. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but I wasn't exactly sure how it would fit. Every time I do this stuff, I have a good idea of how to fit. I dry fit everything. I assemble it as much as possible in my head. And I've done enough conversions and I have a good idea of how these things fit. But when it comes down to the actual making them fit, it's always a little bit of a guessing game. Right? It's things like this. I there I knew there was a chance I would have to do this, and this is annoying. It's not real hard, it's just awkward. And when you get awkward, there's a much higher chance you'll cut yourself. Okay, so I think that'll fit. We just need to make that slimmer. Cool. Okay. Yes, that is cool. Now, because these aren't the same shape, and I'm not going to try to make them the same shape, I don't want it to line up perfectly. I want it to look intentional that they aren't the same shape. Right? So I'm going to line it up symmetrically, but not right on the edge, because otherwise it'll look like, well, those aren't the same shape. Why did you, why did you do that? It's kind of an old design trick, which is make it look intentional. The thing that you had to do because uh, you made a mistake or things came in they're the wrong size well make it look intentional that that's pretty cool right so that connects there those are right in front of that and these little parts connect right there. Now, in thinking about this a little bit more, I want those tires a little, that's going to be the center of the tire. I want those tires to be a little higher. So what I'm going to do is cut. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut this down and then across to make it. Our old friend, the Dremel. <laughs> Real awkward thing. Again, an awkward cut. Awkward cuts are where you cut yourself. Again. 
it's we're talking millimeters here but at least we get this bar up against that which is better overall to glue and gets us closer okay getting straight press it in I have this really great interior bucket seats from Hot Rod Model, which we're going to lose the back seats. We're going to angle this in so it's more of a trapezoid look. I want to try to keep the seats and the center console, although the center console might have to get narrower, so I might have to split it down the middle and move them together. Yes. This is an American car, so that's my driver's seat. I'm going to take most of the width that I want off the passenger seat. is again one of those things where I dry fit it and I was like yeah it'll I'll narrow it and it'll it'll work and it will but exactly how it will is a question so we can get a little wide in the back that's fine but the front I would definitely want to narrow we also have our guy to consider which I don't think our guy is that long like that seat is bigger than our guy. I think we take this front off and we can squish it and angle it in. We're gonna do that on both sides. sure they're sitting flat so put them both on the thing smush let them sit flat so we have this little uh, dash from one of the orc vehicles and it's British car we're gonna make it an American car it's gonna look a little strange I don't, I'm honestly questioning if I should just move it over like that or flip it and make that work. I also could just do it this way, put the steering wheel on this side and make that something else. Yeah, let's just do that. When in doubt, I'm going to do the simpler thing, which is just make that something else. So we had a little look at our legs, and uh, orcs are short. So I ended up popping our seats off, and I cut off 
one whole cushion of our seat. And because this was still curing, I just went in with the Dremel and hacked it off. Works. I'm going to take the cars off. that will take some time to dry, but we can let it sit for a while while we do our driver. I'm trying to get the right angle here, which I'm kind of guessing. Like I want his back up against the seat because we're trying to make two things fit that aren't necessarily supposed to fit. In fact, we're never intended to fit that way. So something like that will be fine. We're going to let that dry. We're going to work on the legs. to straighten that fork leg is um, odd because they are, are made like bow legged. What I'm doing is basically making the angle that they connect to the crotch sharper We're good with that. I'm gonna let that completely dry, sitting in the seat like that. Well, I hate to admit it, but when I was thinking through this, I thought through the front and the middle quite a bit, and my plan for the back was pretty simple, but I kinda messed up. Uh, not kinda, I totally messed up. It doesn't fit at all how I wanted it to. It totally fits the profile I was looking for, but I kept placing it higher, 
than it was going to end up being. So it would have it would have been up here, and I needed it in reality to be down here. So I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. But uh, we had a rethink. We went through all our bits, and I think I figured out a quote simple solution. We have this piece which fits has the same idea as what I was going for, although not quite as round. Uh, it's a little boxier, but that's fine. So that's going to be our back. <laughs> took a million adjustments okay now to do the other side the same way okay so we've had some time to let this dry I took that time to mark off some things that need to be adjusted this took a while to do but it was a lot of just fiddly green stuff move uh, adjust move adjust move um, so I just did the guy, and the guy slots right in here. He's going to be painted separately, so I'm just going to let him dry separately. We have one arm to add. I left his head completely separate because of the space it takes up uh, in painting. be hard to get to his chest. So I have his head on a stick, as most good orcs end up as. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do some cutting and then some assembling. I love the Dremel. It's such an awesome tool. So now we get into what we want to put behind the seats, which is like a sweet idiot orc, just with a big old barrel of gasoline, some various small canisters, kind of just haphazardly laying back here. I'm going to make a pile of little tanks sitting behind him. He doesn't really care about uh he just wants to make sure he has enough right you're gonna have enough can't be running around and run out of it right that would be crazy so we have our back gluing we have a bunch of little tanks back there and we are going to take off these little suspension pieces because they are in the way. That lets us put this exhaust in, which these exhausts, because I put the engine in backwards, um, I have to remove that portion.
our pieces marked, and you're going to shave a little bit off of that so it's straight. We're going to cut the front off and reposition it. It never was. I'm at the point of making this model where I know what I want, but I don't know what I have to do to get there. So I'm just winging it. And that's okay. It's kind of fun. I have an end result that I want. I don't have a plan to get there. I have a general idea of what I need to do, but we are totes just winging it as far as getting there. And I kind of like winging it. It's fun. Where I cut pretty deep on that. We can fix it. We made it. We can make it again. I'm going to set it up like it was before, and the grill is tilting backwards just a hair. Keeping that angle consistent. So I've done quite a bit of gap filling here. There's a, a bit more I need to do, which I'm going to do with green stuff, like that little bit of seat, little seams like that, which Milliput just doesn't hold very well when it's that small. But we filled in a lot of these larger gaps. We added this little back piece, which is kind of like a little trunk, and we added just a little bit of suspension because I wanted our wheels to be a little bit higher.